12th grade, your English teacher was? Mrs. Walsh. Mrs. Walsh, yeah. Nancy, Lincoln, Walsh. Okay, thanks very much. Hey. Hey. Nancy? Nancy Taylor? <laughs> Lincoln High School. I sat next to her in Mrs. Walsh's English class. Oh, I'm sorry. Phil Connors. Wow, that's amazing. You don't remember me, do you? Um. I even asked you to the prom. Phil Connors? I was short and I've sprouted. Gosh, how are you? Great. You look terrific. You look very, very terrific. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go do this report. Um, are you a reporter? I'm a weatherman with Channel 9 Pittsburgh. Wow, oh, gosh, I should have known. That's great. But maybe later we could... Yeah, whatever. Stay right here. Promise me? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck! Who's Rita? How should I know? What is this, some kind of one-night stand? On the contrary, Nancy. I love you. I've always loved you. This is going to seem sudden, but... Nancy, will you be my wife? Gust of wind. Dog bark. Cue the truck. Exit Herman. Walk on to the bank. Exit Felix and stand there with a the not so bright look on your face. All right, Doris, come on. Hey, fix your bra, honey. That's good. Felix! How you doing, Doris? Can I have a roll of quarters? Ten. Nine. Eight. Four. Six. Five. Quarters. Three. Two. Why, did I bring up two bags or one? I don't know. I, I, I thought we were going to a costume party. It's like I said, I love this film. I've seen it over a hundred times. Phil? Told you. Call me Bronco. Sorry, Bronco. Hi, Nancy. Fiance. I don't remember me. Hi. Hi. That'll be uh, one adult and uh, two adults. Two adults, I guess. Groundhog. Who, as legend has it, can predict the coming of an early spring? So I guess the question we have to ask ourselves today is Does Phil feel lucky? Rita, if you only had one day to live, what would you do with it? I don't know, Phil. What are you dying of? No. I mean, the whole world is about to explode. What do you do? I just want to know where to put the camera. What are you looking for, Phil? A date for the weekend? No, I'm just interested in you. You know, what do you want? What do you like? I mean, what do you think about? What kind of men are you interested in? What do you do for fun? Is this for real, Phil, or are you just trying to make me look like a fool? I'm just trying to talk like normal people talk. Isn't this how they talk? Plus. Okay, so talk to me. Let me buy you a cup of coffee. And a donut. All right. So what do you want out of life, anyway? 
I guess I want what everybody wants, you know. Career, love, marriage, children. Are you seeing anyone? I think this is getting too personal. I don't think I'm ready to share this with you. How about you? What do you want? What I really want is someone like you. <laughs> oh, please. Well, why not? Uh, what are you looking for? Who is your perfect guy? Well, first of all, he's too humble to know he's perfect. That's me. He's intelligent, supportive, funny. Intelligent, supportive, funny. Me, me, me. He's romantic and courageous. Me also. He's got a good body, but he doesn't have to look in the mirror every two minutes. I have a great body, and sometimes I go months without looking. Uh, he's kind, sensitive, and gentle. He's not afraid to cry in front of me. This is a man we're talking about, right? He likes animals and children, and he'll change poopy diapers. Does he have to use the word poopy? Oh, and he plays an instrument, and he loves his mother. I am really close on this one. Really, really close. Yeah. You know what huh? I mean? huh? Phil Connors. Hello. Thanks for watching. So, what are the chances of getting out today? The van still won't start. Larry's working on it. Wouldn't you know it? Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Jim Beam, ice, water. For you, Miss? Sweet vermouth in the rocks with a twist, please. What are the chances of getting out of town today? The van still won't start. Larry's working on it. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Uh, sweet vermouth, rocks with a twist, please. For you, miss? The same. That's my favorite drink. Mine, too. It always makes me think of Rome. The way the sun hits the buildings in the afternoon. Huh. Well, what should we drink to? To the groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Uh, sweet vermouth, rocks with a twist, please. For you, miss? The same. That's my favorite drink. Mine, too. <laughs> it always makes me think of Rome. The way the sun hits the buildings in the afternoon. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. World peace. World peace. Mmm, this is wonderful. Say, can I tell you? Mm. How do you know so much about Punxsutawney? I've spent a lot of time there. Small town people are more real, more down there. That's how I feel. Really? Would you like to try some white chocolate? Yuck. That'll make me sick. No white chocolate. There is something so familiar about this. Mm hmm? Do you ever have deja vu? Did you just ask me that? I think people place too much emphasis on their careers. I wish we could all live in the mountains at high altitude. That's where I see myself in five years. How about you? Oh, I agree. I just like to go with the flow, see where it leads me. What's well, led you here? Mm-hmm. Of course, it's about a million miles from where I started out in college. You weren't uh, in broadcasting in general? Mm-mm. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. <laughs> what a waste of time. I mean, for someone else, that would be an incredible waste of time. It's so bold of you to choose that. It's incredible. You must be a very, very strong person. I think people place too much emphasis on their careers. Gosh, I wish we could all live in the mountains. At high altitudes. That's where I see myself in five years. How about you? Oh, I agree. I just like to go with the flow. Yeah. See what happens. Well, it's gotten you here. Uh-huh.
course, it's a million miles from where I started out in college. Oh, yeah? You weren't in broadcasting or journalism or anything like that? Uh-uh. Hmm. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. You speak French. Oui. Oh, get you. Ah. I haven't done this since I was a kid. Me neither. It's fun. Yeah. Ah. It's good, clean fun. Ah. I hope that one day I could do this with my own children. Where'd you get that? Well, I went over to the snowman shop. <laughs> hey, an assassin! I'll protect you, your majesty. I shall die for you. You shall not take her. Find cover, my lady. How you can start a day with one kind of expectation and end up so completely different. Well, do you like the way this day is turning out? I like it very much. It's a perfect day. You couldn't have planned a day like this. Well, you can. It just takes an awful lot of work. Come on in. I want to show you something. I don't think I should feel. Oh, I don't think you should either. That's why I'm just going to show you this one thing and kick you right out. Just give me one minute. <laughs> Just lovely. Would you like to sit and stare at the big fire? <laughs> okay. It's really wonderful, Ren. It is now. Second thought, I think we should. <laughs> it's the perfect end to a perfect day. Well, it's a little fast for me. Me too. Maybe I should go. Where would you go? <laughs> Why? I've got a perfect fire. I've got some French poetry here. Baudelaire. Mm. C'est fantastique. I will read to you. <laughs> I, I got some ice cream over on the windowsill. Well, hold on a minute. Rocky Road. Ah, oh, I love Rocky Road. Yeah, I thought so. You have to stay. Oh, no, really, Phil. I'm tired. We can see each other tomorrow. No. Tonight. Oh. It's gotta be tomorrow. No, Phil, really. <laughs> Just stay for a while, and if you like it, stay for a while longer. And if you like it, stay for a while longer. Let's not spoil it, okay? Not spoil it. I don't want to spoil it either. You know I can't. I can't stay with you. Why not? I love you. You love me. I love you. You don't even know me. Oh, I'm, I know you. Oh no! I can't believe I fell for this. This whole day has just been one long setup. No, it hasn't. And I hate fudge. Yuck. No white chocolate, no fudge. What are you doing? Are you making some kind of list or something? No. Did you call up my friends and ask them what I like and no. what I don't like? Is, no. Is this what love is for you? No, this is real. This is love. Stop saying that. You must be crazy. I could never love someone like you, Phil, because you'll never love anyone but yourself. That's not true. I don't even like myself. Give me another chance. That's for making me care about you. I haven't done this since I was a kid. I mean, you even have fun. Oh, and good, clean fun, too. I think that's what's missing in the world today, don't you? Gosh, I can't wait to do this with my own children. Golly, I want kids. Lots of kids. I want to adopt. I want to have my own kids. I want to have foster kids. I got this over at Snowman City. Look for the well up. Hey, some kid just threw a snowball at us. Hey, come here. Let's have some fun. Come on. Hey. 
Hey, kids, come on. I, I wish even my own kids hit me like this. Hey. Hey. Ow, ow. Are any of you up for adoption? 